Okay, so that's everything for lab lab two final. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, commit my changes and um, push them to the repository and make a tag. So start with git status. Now, um, when you're working collaboratively with other people, what you really want to do is um, work on a branch. So you make a branch from the main um, branch, and then you make all your changes to your branch. And then when you get everything the way you want it, then you commit those changes and then merge your code back into the main branch. Actually, usually what you do is you merge the main branch into your branch, then you resolve any merge conflicts that might be because other people have changed code on the main branch since you made your branch. And then after you've resolved all the merge conflicts, then you merge your branch back to the main. Um, but if it's just one person working in isolation, then you can pretty much just stick on the main branch, which is what I'm doing here, unless you're working on something that's experimental that you may want to just abandon completely. So if you may want to abandon it completely, if you put it in a side branch and then you don't merge your side branch back into the main branch, no harm done. Um, but in this case, I'm just uh, going to go ahead and um, update the code on the main branch. So all of these changes look good. I'm going to do git commit dash m um, changes for lab to final. And then actually git add dot. So add all of those changes and then commit the changes. And then git push. And then I have a tag for git uh, for lab two progress check. So let's do git tag. So lab two progress check. So I'm going to do git tag dash a lab to f for final. Um, and then dash m um, changes for lab to final. And then git tag. So now there's two of them. And then git push um, origin lab to f.